Hey, ladies and gents, let me go ahead and give you a more detailed um, overview of this lab. I'm going to launch my gizmos and make sure that you choose the RNA and protein synthesis lab. On the right hand side, I have my canvas assignment open. Number one says, look at the simulation pane. The displayed segment is a part of a DNA molecule since it contains thymine and not uracil. So this actually is a DNA molecule because there's thiamine and not uracil here. Number two, gizmos warm up. RNA polymerase is a type of enzyme. Enzymes help chemical reactions occur quickly. Click the release enzyme button and describe what happens. All right, and so what it's going to do here is going to make um, two strands. of the DNA is separated. Number three, like DNA and RNA, RNA follows a base pair rules. Experiment to find which RNA nucleotide on the right side of the gizmo will successfully pair with the thymine on the top of the template, template strand of DNA. Note the DNA on the right side is a template strand. Which RNA base bonds with thymine? We know our base pair rules, so there is no thymine in RNA. So adenine will still bond. The next three bases on the DNA template strand are adenine, cytosine, and guanine. Use the gizmo to answer the following questions. Which RNA base bonds with adenine? Adenine bonds with uracil. Which RNA base bonds with cytosine? Cytosine bonds with guanine. Which RNA base bonds with guanine? Guanine bonds with cytosine. And so you can actually practice that right here. So adenine bonds with uracil, cytosine guans, uh, bonds with guanine. And so on and so forth. Observe, in the molecules R of RNA, uracil takes the place of the DNA base thymine. Because remember that in RNA, there is no thymine, so uracil will take that place. Number six, it says to build, continue building the strand of mRNA until you have used all of the RNA nucleotides. What is the nucleotide sequence of your mRNA strand that you built? So basically what they're asking you is for the RNA strand in order, or basically the letters, that's what they're asking you for of the RNA in order, okay? Because there's going to be a specific order that you have to go in. So for the first one, you can just put U A U G A U G. Remember, we're looking for codons, and codons are three bases at a time because that's how DNA and that's how RNA actually write their code and read their code. All right, so we have a C right here. I'm going to put a G. So C U G. So A U G C U G. Here we have a T right here. So T's going to bond with A. All 
All right, ACC, we'll put that here, ACC. All right, and we have three more bases. We have an A here, so we're gonna put a U here. And you'll know if they don't fit because they'll kind of float back if they don't fit. UAG, so I'll put UAG here. All right, so here is your mRNA strand starting from here at the top all the way to the bottom. So all you're going to do is just put the, the mRNA base pair sequences by threes, because remember those are what we call codons, for numbers one, two, three, and four. AUG, CUG, ACC, UAG. You're going to put those in that in those blanks. You're going to put the exact same codes in this, these blanks right here. I don't know why this is here twice, but this is just to let you know that um, every group of three bases of mRNA is called a codon. So you're just going to put the exact same answers in here. AUG. CUG. ACC and UAG. Number eight says to after a strand of mRNA has been built, the strand exits the cell's nucleus. The second stage of protein synthesis called translation occurs next. During translation, the strand of mRNA is used to build a chain of amino acids. Translation starts when a ribosome, that purple structure on the simulation pane, binds to a strand of mRNA. Transfer RNA or tRNA begins bringing amino acids into the ribosome. Each tRNA molecule carries only one kind of amino acid. This amino acid is determined by the tRNA's anticodon, a set of three unpaired bases. So it says place the next two tRNA molecules on the mRNA strand and what happens next. So we should click continue here. And so basically what you're gonna do is you're just going to drag your tRNAs over here. And basically you're just using the RNA base pair rules to get the correct base pair sequences again. So for AUG, it should be UAC. That's the anti-codon that fits. For CUG, you're going to add the anticodon that fits. So you're just going to use your base pair rules again. G, A, C. So it should be this one. A, C, C, U, G, G should be on the other side here. And then the anticodon over here should be A U C. I'm going to stop right here at number eight. And everything else, you should be able to fill in the blanks yourself. But I think numbers one through seven were the questions that most students were having problems with. Hope this helped.